Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, never ever have I thought that I'm gonna make a video like this ever. Uh, but here I am. Actually, there are two reasons why I'm making this video. One is my husband actually convinced me that you know this is the best platform that I should you know I should you know speak to you guys. I can share what's in my mind, everything about the incident that actually happened because I was you know I've. I'm not in a state of sharing this to anybody actually, be it my family members, my friend or anybody for that matter. Uh, so here I am talking to you guys. Um, it's just that, you know, I know you guys are there, you guys are listening, but I'm just talking to a camera now. So probably I, I'll be able to share. And the second reason, which is for me the most important reason why I have actually decided to make this video I'm gonna uh, share that at the end of the video but for now okay I am gonna share uh, so a few days back actually about afternoon time I was heading out to pick my son Kabi from his daycare and um, so where I live actually I had to take a left turn so so let's say here is my apartment and I need to you know go this way I have to take a left turn to be on the right side of the road because in Canada and US all those countries you are driving at the right side and so I was taking I was about to take a left turn and when you take a left turn you need to you know watch who's coming from that way and also who's coming from the other opposite way so I saw nothing was coming from this end there was one car which was you know at a very far distance um, so that was the right time for me to actually take a u-turn so it was actually a fraction of seconds and there's a middle lane where you need to actually merge before going to the extreme right so actually uh, started taking a left turn and within those fraction of seconds actually I when I started the car was at a very far distance in between that extreme left to the middle here I'm coming and I could see the car from there to this with not less than 120 speed where the speed limit is 50 40 or 50 in my area so I'm seeing the car is gonna hit me because I'm coming here it's coming here and I'm seeing you know I'm seeing the car is gonna hit me it's hitting me I'm gonna die you know that those fraction of seconds everything that came to my mind was that oh I'm gonna die And so when the car actually, it, the car was at a very, very high speed. So the, you know, the driver couldn't press the brake. There were four people. I'm sure they were, you know, they were not paying. The driver wasn't paying attention. The driver couldn't, the lady couldn't actually press the brake. And hit me on the very front of my car. And my car actually took a couple of turns. And went into the next apartment parking lot and there is something it's some feature in the car that the brakes you know the automatically gets you know it freezes automatically and then there were one airbag which was you know which came from the front and one the, the curtain airbag both came and I was hit like this and I had a little bit of bruises here and I had a lot of pressure but as you can see other than those bruises, other than, you know, my back and everything, everything else is sore, I'm all good. And, you know, it just happened. Anyway, so this is how it happened. And if, if not for the airbag, I would have actually died on that day. And all I could remember is the car coming at a very high speed and I'm me thinking that I'm gonna die there was no third you know 
anything came to my mind. It was the, those were the only two thoughts. And then you know when my car stopped, I could all I could you know remember is um, because of the airway, I, I wasn't able to see much. But all I could see is that people you know probably calling nine one one, and there was a lady who was talking to me, but I couldn't hear what she's saying. But I know, you know, she was, you know, she was asking me something and there were people all around and they were asking, they were talking to me, they were asking some sort of questions. But I think it took me about five, four to five minutes that I actually could hear them and the lady was actually asking me about, you okay? And the 911 service is so fast that they came immediately, there was ambulance, there were fire brigade, there were police and everybody... I mean, my car was surrounded by so many people. The traffic was all jammed, and uh, so they did some test. Uh, the fire brigade people they came and cut the air back from the two sides. And just because the uh, back car seat of my son was attached to the seat belt, the back seat, you know, airbag also came out. And I'm so, so, so thankful that my son wasn't there. I don't, you know, obviously I mind dying. But all then, then obviously we went to the hospital. The ambulance took me to the hospital, uh, you know, just for just to see that if I have some internal damage, internal, you know, hemorrhage or not for all those things. And there, all I could think of that, what if Kibi was there? What if somebody else were there? What if all those questions? But. Um, yeah, so then came the police, they took my statement, everything, and uh, yeah, that's that's what happened. And I'm gonna insert some of the pictures of the car. If that is something could, you know, disturb you, you get anxious seeing those. So skip for a couple of, you know, seconds, probably 30 seconds or so. So this is what actually happened and the people you know when the, they took the car to the yard where the car would, car would be you know probably they're gonna open it up and do something I have no clue on that but it went to the yard so my husband the next day went to the yard just to you know get the license plate and everything and the people who were there they just asked is the person alive? And when my husband said, you know, she just had a couple of, you know, bruises and so, if she's fine, she's perfectly fine. People were shocked because all they could think of seeing the car is that the person must have, you know, died on the spot. Uh, main reason why I'm making this video is, you know, the other reason uh, is that whenever I head out from my place to, you know, just to go for a walk for, you know, Anywhere, anywhere, the, the moment I step out from my house, I would chant mantra, Mahamutanjaya mantra that, you know, that kind of, you know, saves you from all the, what's that word, from all the evil, you know, things or accidents and everything. Uh, every day I chant that mantra and every day I would take God's name and then I would step out every single day. And... I think I've been driving since two years and every single day, the moment I would, you know, buckle up the seatbelt, I would chant that mantra again. That particular day I was in a, you know, I was not in a hurry, but I don't know. I just, you know, started driving and then I was like, I didn't chant that mantra. So from the parking a lot to the front of my building, you know, the I felt that, you know, there's some power which is saying me that, Sam, you didn't chant the mantra today and you should, today you should, within those two years, this two years of driving, this is the first time that happened and I actually parked my car, I chanted the mantra and then actually I started driving again. So the reason why I'm saying that, you know, you might be the person who doesn't believe in God, that's okay. But trust me guys, I'm telling you from my experience that the extreme the supreme power that really exists and even if you do not believe in god trust me when i say this if not for the god i wouldn't have been alive and 
I had a two month, now my son is three, almost three month old, uh, the younger one, just imagine a family where there is a two year old and a two month old child, breastfed child would have been, you know, living without their mother for their whole life, if not for the God. Trust me when I say this, I am alive just because I trust in God. Not, not that I'm saying the people who are dying, they do not, but I'm saying, I'm just sharing my experience. Please do not take it otherwise. Um, the mantra that has, if I'm alive just because of that. So all I'm saying is, you know, whatever videos I have made, whatever videos I'm going to make, forget that if you could just take one thing from my video, take this for today that if you're heading out, believe or not, just, and whatever religion you follow, just take the name of God and then step out. Trust me, it has, it has that much power that, you know, it can create miracle. And if, you know, for the people, for the pedestrian, for the other people who are there in the road, for your family and particularly your own self, do this. It has, it has, you know, capacity. It has all the ability to create miracles. So pray, pray, pray. Every single day, start your day with prayer. Heading out, pray. Just pray. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you guys very soon in my next